Welcome back everyone. Today we are looking at some kohlrabi. Uh, this is a great uh, beginner plant or for anyone really. Um, it slices up nicely into salads. You can grate it like coleslaw. Um, it does come from that same family as broccoli, cauliflower, brussels sprouts, stuff like that. Um, so you won't want to plant those in the same spot if you're practicing crop rotation just because they are from the same family. Uh, so you'll want to change it up a little bit more. Um, but if you are ready to plant, we can cover that a little bit. Um, if you're planting from seed, you'll want to plant seeds about um, an inch or two apart. You can kind of see how far we did. Uh, you will thin to be about four inches apart. Um, they can be pretty close as you can see. Um, but you'll only want to plant those about a fourth an inch deep. So just lightly cover. And then once they are about two inches tall, you can thin to be, you know, four to six inches apart, as you can see. Um, the best pH for these will be between six and seven. Um, so there's a little wider range than some plants, but it's still pretty standard for vegetable plants. Uh, we can zoom out so you can kind of see what they look like here. A big row, they get fairly big leaves. And you can go ahead and eat these, um, like in salads and stuff, but I would recommend taking some of the smaller ones, like you can see in here. Otherwise, you can let it grow. Um, you can see here, we're looking at harvest. So we wanna harvest this when it's about two to three inches across, um, any bigger, and they'll start to get a little bit woody and harder to eat. Um, but you can let these go to seed too, if you kind of forget about it. Um, another thing is you'll want to plant these in early May as they don't really like the heat of summer. Uh, we're in July here now and so we're going to start harvesting and then we can actually plant another batch to be ready in the fall because these only take about two months to mature to harvest. Um, so you get two harvests per year if you plant in May and then again in July uh, you can get two harvests before it snows. Um, so we're going to look at harvesting now. Um, you can see this one is plenty big, and so what we're going to do is we actually have a little garden shears here that I'm going to go ahead and take that in and just go down to the bottom root here. Um, I can get in there, and we're just going to snip it off. You could pull the root if you wanted to, but they do get fairly deep. Whew. So these ones do have some pretty sturdy roots. I'm actually having trouble cutting it, so I'm going to do that. Um, I might need both hands, so I'm going to cut away to that and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Um, like I said, I need two hands for that. You can see the big root right here, um, or actually on the plant here as well. You can kind of see what that looks like. Um, in order to eat this, so you can kind of see what we pulled here, if I zoom out, um, that is what it looks like when we pick it. Um, now in order to eat it, we'll actually be pulling off all of these leaves and then peeling this hard rind off. Um, but yeah, that is what it looks like. Um, so you can see this next one is probably pretty close, but the next one in still has a little ways to go and the next one even more. So um, you can kind of stagger these, but they go really well in salads or coleslaws, like I mentioned. Um, otherwise, you can do like a kohlrabi apple salad, or they bake up really well with like potatoes and onions. So there's lots of things you can do. Um, we'll be having more recipes coming out later. If you have questions about growing kohlrabi or harvesting, please comment down below. Um, otherwise, head over to the blog for more gardening ideas or check out our gardening playlist. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.